Okay, so this part of the uh, tutorial or demonstration, as I can call it, um, seeks to show you how to download SRTM uh, DEM, and that is the one we use to generate contours and um, uh, the drainage lines. Of course, there are several ways to get drainage lines and contours, but I like generating them myself, and it's easier for me to do it that way. So. What you are going to need to do is just you have to load QGIS and I've loaded it already, this QGIS and um, anyone can serve but what you are going to do is in the plugins area you go to click manage and install plugins um, that is where you are going to go to and of course you have to be online to do this and um, once that one loads um, okay said I have an upgradable login so you click on this all here and type SRTM because we're going to be using the SRTM downloader. Yes, you can have that. I've already installed it, but if you didn't, you can click it and click install, right? But I have it. Another one is open topography. It's another one, but I use the, um, I use the open topography. It's not there. Okay, what's the name now? I have it somewhere here. It's not open topography. What's the name of this? It's here. Um, what's the name now? That shouldn't disturb us. But uh, where is it? Okay. Sometimes when you look for these things. Anyway, it's plugin. And go to click plugins. And it will load. And um, it's open topography. Why am I missing it? Okay, let me just see installed. Yeah, open to poke. Okay, there is no space between it. Oh, is open topography. Okay, uh, that's another one. You can click on it and install. But right now we are doing that SRTM downloader. And once you have installed it, you will see an icon pop out here. But before you use it, I recommend that you load your shape file. So go to layer, add layer, and uh, add vector layer and then we now navigate to the folder where we have uh, that layer and this somewhere it is in this one okay let's go back let's go back here it's go up um, here and third uh, we have um, no was is RGIS? We have his shift file and we have it as summary. Let's change it to type. So we go to summary dot shp. Where is summary dot hsp? Summary dot shp. Okay, that's it. And click on add. Okay, so it has added it. So we just click on this um, SRTM downloader. But before then, you must have registered. Ah, I will just uh, I have a video where I teach how to register with the USGS. And then, so what we're going to do is to we click on set canvas extent because that's the extent which we want it. Set canvas extent. Then you navigate to a place where you will need to save the. Uh, the SRTM Todd Oasis. I think I have it in SRTM. I will choose this folder and select folder. Okay, let's minimize this a little bit. So all is clear. Download. Once you click it, it will prompt for um, the this particular login. I've already saved my login, so I will just go to. Okay, so there are four. SRTMs that needs to be downloaded here and uh, once it is being downloaded I think I guess I will pause okay I, I think it's fast enough so we'll have all four um, done but let me just pause and when it's done I will come back so it says download complete so we click on OK and uh, we click on close here so what it has done, it has um, downloaded all four 
usually because this counterclass study area is quite large, you do not really need to uh, do this often. So look at it. It's actually in the middle of four different, uh, it's actually a smaller area compared to the size because these SRTM tiles are one degree by one degree tiles. But then it doesn't matter. So what we are going to do now, we are going to make these SRTM uh, files to become one because we are going to use it as one. So what's going to happen is we have all them here. And um, so what we're going to do is to go to raster and um, raster okay, miscellaneous merge. And um, we come here, we have to click this 0702. 0703080208030 and click on OK. Now we want it in float 32 and um, all the other thing you don't need to do much except we have to click on here. We have to save it to file or because since we are going to use the projected format, we just leave it to be saved on the temporary file and click on run. So we have it as a, a one unit right now. Then we're going to save it accordingly the way we want it to be saved. So we click on close. Now it's now one file. So once we put up this and put up this, so we are now seeing the image as it comes out. Okay, I dropped it in here. I'm supposed to remove it from the group. Okay. All right, so, okay, you come back down here. Yes. Okay, now let me move you up. Sorry, this thing is just wasting some time that we don't have. Drop it here. Anyway, I'm not going to waste my time on this because once you click it off, you see this by the middle here. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to right click on this and click on exports and save as. Now we are going to navigate to the folder where we want it saved, and uh, that should be um, here. I can SRTM dot SRTM. So we name this SRTM merged, something like that. It has to be in Jutif. There are several other file types that we can save it in we want to save it as a jotif and now this crs has to be wgs um, 84 zone 31 if you don't have it you click here and actually search for it you can say utm zone 31 and then this one is coming out so we're choosing this and okay and um we want this this thing to remain like this we are not changing any other thing and we have put it where it's supposed to be and we click on ok then it will save it as a GOT file and um, that's uh, all that we'll be doing in this place right now and um, that's all for QGIS the next time we are going to open the uh, ArcMap. map to do the drainage and the contour extraction. So let me load ArcMap and um, I have it here and it's ArcMap 10.8.2. It's loading, it takes some time, so I will pause while it loads. So ArcMap has loaded, so we are going to create, um, so go to geoprocessing here and do environment. We want to our workspace to be in that SRTM folder I will mention earlier and uh, let's go up let's go up we are in this akin okay third and this is srtm we're going to add that so for the scratch workspace we are still going to use the same so all we need to do is just to copy and paste it on the scratch workspace i've got a lot of tabs open on my system right now so that's why this thing is um, a little bit slow and I can't close them because um, I'm still working on a lot of things 
at the same time so let's just wait for it and of course ArcMap can be notoriously slow sometimes especially when you have done a ton of work so we highlight this copy ctrl c and we paste it here ctrl v so i think that's what we need click ok here too let's just set the of course you can name it here but um let's say general let's name it as drainage we can have it there and the map units let's have them in um okay not yet we need niplex because i have not done this thing company system we need um, zone 31 if we go back here we cannot change so many things then we don't need all this we can say okay so what we're going to do we're going to add data third srtm we are doing srtm match.tif we add it so to confirm because for you to do this drainage extraction your raster the the, the dam must be in a projected uh, coordinate system so if we click right click here and go to properties we'll see um, the the information about this particular raster that we have mm. and you come don't mind the, uh, the other the edges that has zero values it's because we reprojected so once we do uh, source special reference you see it is WGS zone 31 so uh, I will show you how to install this particular plugin but it's Arc, um, uh, what's it called? Arc Hydro so but what you're going to just learn the process installing Arc Hydro is easy you have to choose the version of your ArcMap so we go to the terrain processing DEM we just feel sync this thing I won't be doing any extra tweaking here all we're going to be doing is just to run everything on uh, default settings so this uh, is filling the sinks and I have to be pausing because I don't want the video to be too long so this fill sink has successfully completed we click on OK we we'll now go to terrain processing again we we'll now do flow direction and just click OK like I said we are going to be very fast about this we're not going to tweak anything but basically it's going to give us what we require okay so the flow direction has successfully completed we we'll go again and we we'll do flow accumulation click ok hopefully this one will be faster okay okay so this has finished flow accumulation we we'll now go to stream definition and this is where we now tweak and I usually use one kilometer square area for my um, stream definition so we'll click on OK so it will define the streams and then we can now produce the streams, uh, streams thereafter so that is done now and um, we now go to terrain processing then we do stream segmentation just click OK. Like I said, everything we are doing, and it's it's running this slow for a couple of reasons. One being which I have so many things loaded onto my memory. Secondly, it's a quite a large area that we are looking at here, because we are looking at um, approximately um, one degree by one degree. So we have uh, two degree. 220 kilometers by 220 kilometers is, is quite a, a huge area so that's what we're looking at here and um, so let me pause this so it is done now we now click on OK so now the next thing on, we're going to do the drainage line processing okay so I should save before continuing so click on here with save us and um, we'll have it here again third SRTM let's name this drainage okay then we go back to doing what we like doing and that is drainage like processing and we click on OK 
okay that is done uh, we click on OK so we now have our drainage lines so what we're going to do first of all we are going to export it because sometimes these things hide somewhere where you can't easily get to so where do we put them we go to this place go to Akin SRTM and these are drainage lines so not that we can't do this in Arc, um, ArcGIS Pro but it's actually a little bit easier and more intuitive mm -hmm. here um, no okay so the next one will be to do contour so we can search it from here if you don't know where it is you can go to windows search same thing and you click on contour and hit enter key so we click on contour here and for contour we have we are using this field dm contour interval i just keep it at 20 meters base contour is zero every other default remains the same and i click on ok to take its time to do its wonders so the contour is done and um do we let's see where the contour was saved that uh? i think it should be in the right place where did we save it Arcing contour shp so that does it for that we have our drainage we have our contour so we'll go ahead and um, add those to our geologic map and that particularly ends this session of the demonstration.